this evening we have a legend this man has been in the industry for almost over 15 years and he's still here and well he's a father as well he's a rapper and this man is an entrepreneur he can rap and Mr. G, colonial generation, I am sorry if you don't know this man, but this man definitely made our teenage years and, and, and back, uh, you know, like just slightly after high school for me, me and Mzee, by the way. So let's welcome Ken Brazy in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Brazy, Karimba sana. I will see you. It's been a minute. Hey, we are happy no, to madu. see you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Karimba post-COVID. Manze. I know the yeah. last time you were here, you were before COVID. 2019. Missing what COVID. I wasn't here. I my first song, your yeah. album, and I was in Dr. Kahn next week. Yeah. Niki sema sasa ni merudi. Ejo. Covid ili tuonyesha. Miss Jesse kia kitukai yos yona kitukai yos. Yeah. But na thank God kwa hapa tena. And just to be able to have your opportunity to do it again. And ni God's plan to pia unajua. Yeah. Yeah. Kijana wa kofia na kaptula. Sorry. Kofia kwa habi. Kofia ni litoa jo. Yeah. Kofia ni litoa. Ndadunga badaye maybe years later but this is the me now. Yeah. 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 Alafu sija yu nekana anywhere on TV. Yeah. Indo mara ya kwanza. Okay. Indo mara ya kwanza jo. Hata na jo mafans wangu wa shangai zone. But let me ask you, you mm -hmm. know, the last time you were here, we were talking about your album. Mm -hmm. So how was it, you know, you having to hold back because of COVID-19 and not releasing per plan? Because last year, you were talking about COVID-19. You were talking about COVID-19. No, no, no. <laughs> <man. laughs> COVID happened. Yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. you know, for me, single Zend, I took to Mangoma because it was not about seeking a name or yeah. just doing songs just to be relevant mm -hmm. nilikuwa na make after ile break ya grandpa from 2016 ndo yeah. nika release zile vitu as a solo artist na avril then from there nilikam nika cheki I, I needed time to sit back and just form my team nikam through poor so e period ya covid kutokea nilikuwa naona it would be unfair for me kutoa twizo ngoma na siezi fikia mafans wangu because yeah. my main aim was to be with them one on one niweze kuwapigia mashoni niweze kuwaona nikiwaambia mazendo oh mimi back again after it was now 2 years alafu sasa hii imekuwa hata naoma jua sasa kwanza marezi umenyamaza umenyamaza because me I was used to releasing like six songs in a year yeah. na zote ni hits unajua so yeah. watu wajanizoea hata one year kunyamaza so it it became Nini. So, na wana COVID ilikuwa tu ina stretch jo. Eh, 2020 inaisha. <laughs> so, yeah, hizi ngoma jo. Years, eh? Mbaka kuna mangoma. <laughs> I ended up recording like 40 songs. Mm -hmm. Mbaka tulikuwa tuna, ilikuwa hard kuchuu. Same bidi tume reduce to like 20 juni hard sana ku. Jusa new songs ilikuwa zina come yeah. with things changing. Kama ato yo story mlikuwa mna sema hapa ya Arkeli. Yeah. Ilini, ilini ili ni inspire ku do song inaitwa huyo dem kwa kwa album mm -hmm. nime rap to about them vitu madem upitia na mm -hmm. mia za mia za person pia zenye nimeona na zenye as me included mm -hmm. yeah. what what we yani yeah. nasema what we men do to women na yani ni ngoma deep jo ni ngoma deep na toa scenario ya mtoi fulani yeah. ali 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 grow ya jeri of fajeriko class 5 fashanza katiwa na eriko yeah. uya ko 25 sikia <laughs> sikia story yeah. uya ko 25 please watch mto ya so my 3 years later kcp dem ana ball but ana fight through ana deliver results ku come through dem amepita ni family true so akumfukuza mto ya na grow jukumbu zinaza kupata huyu dem yeah. then later madaki ana pass anko anaweza help ana mtamani anataka mkate ndo am help am gedo yeah. Ude mano nazi, maze, madaki anapas, anatalent, anamuende studio, kufuka studio, anatupata sisi. Tunataka tumkate ndo tumrecord. <laughs> you know. jo, eh, so, so it's just a real. Yeah. Vicious cycle. Vitu nimeona na, yeah. na vitu na juwa mademu wanapitia. So it was basically, mbona unakanyago odema kitre kuhasol. Because yeah. kwa nangaleo story ya Arkeli, au mademu walikuwa naenda wote because they, they knew through you mse nita kuwa mse flani. Oh. They had a passion. They had, Namoka. Yeah. Eh, so alafu mse ana... So ilikuwa ni story ilini. Unasikisa vitu kwa hizo zikuwa zinakam katikati na feel. This song is powerful than just a club song. Yeah. But, but do you unajua. think that's why we don't have many female artists in the industry? Because ya yeah, vitu kama hizo. Okay, mine as I say, hiyo ni one part of it. Yeah. And there are very few strong women wenye, wenye ani wako. I, I, I mind you, hiyo story ani uwezi hata fika umuangeleshe ufala kama hizo. Mm -hmm. But now again, I've seen others who 
wakifika place kama hiyo they are always too much excited meeting na flani flani yeah. then they are the ones who start bringing that soft spot na kuanza kufikiria maybe ni kila na umse mimi ndio ndo umoka kushinda hao wengine wote yeah. so ni both ni both sides mimi naweza sema but siezi stand mse wote mwenye ana do ya dem hivyo mwenye ana talent mimi personally dem wote uni approach mwenye ana talent na hiyo ndo tunataka yeah. i always respect that so much yeah. eru fikie tu mali anafaa fikie siku mo exploit yeah wacha ni kutake back to teach days yeah. when you first came kwa industry mm -hmm. ukiwa under Jomino and of course there was Calif Records mm -hmm. when you first released Tichi uh, you released Tichi yeah. wasi alikuwa na kukompare sana na Jua Kali is it something that was offensive to you or did you look at it like ah by the way kumbe wananiona hivi so kumbe niko na that muscle how did you receive it okay me to me actually huo ndo msali ni inspire yeah. ni ndo msali fanya nikashika pen nisitaki kuandika ngoma unajua kuna time being a musician ulikuwa na ni myth jua yeah. jarul ni tu jeye tu <laughs> eh. but now nikasikia ilikuwa jua kali na nini to be specific yes. juu nilianza kunoti sawa sawa naimba tu story zao za mtaa alafu manzei ine kwa beat alafu ni ngoma so yeah. nilikuwa chuo naona ah naweza andika kitu kaa hiyo so as in wali ni inspire ku do evil so mimi hata kufika studio hata nakumbuka nikiwa teach kitu wao walikuwa wanani wana ni niki record teach Steve walikuwa wananiambia cuz there were some lines the last lines za verse 1 na 2 yeah. nikirudia na ime even alikuwa naivuta mm. sasa yeah. Steve wananiambia eh hey, unapenda jua ambia eh hey. so jamii yeah. siko wajongome itakuwa big itakuwa nini so it was it was more so in some few lines ilikuwa an intentional move trying to do that but nilikamkujua venye wasi alianza kusema hivyo it was now too much but nika realize what akam tu kunielewa cuz i knew what happened in the first mtu okay. ajuangi mali itaenda yeah. squad watiji itakuwa big hivyo mm -hmm. i was just doing a good song then now doing my second song wop rudi and watu wakaanza kuelewa my lyric my lyricism na venye na rhyme yes. na venye na rap huu sasa ni rezi no wonder sai unaweza sikia tu sauti yangu na ama hata unaweza sema kuna watu wana sound ka rezi hey, sasa yeah. Yeah. so i knew later they would just come to know me okay. mm -hmm. yeah. but what are some of the maybe um, challenges in your field zime kwa very um, paramount kwa industry since you started because i'm very sure you've seen the seasons and how the industry yeah. has changed over the years no. so what are some of the things you feel zenye bado tunangangana nazo apart from your made because you at least you <laughs> mentioned <laughs> yo ya made wana <laughs> ana kuja studio yeah. yani you know it's, it's a very it's a sad cycle but yes what are the things me i think kitu big nimeona imela kenya throughout the years yani mm -hmm. kutoka nianze mpaka sasa what has been nimeona imekuwa consistent problem ni hiyo tu mse kusema manzena ataka ku invest on kendrezi ama ku invest on kustress ile ziko na album kam ni ku ni kuduye mm. ni kuduye videos ni kuduye mm. ni ku brand ni kufanyie hii na hii yeah. ndo yangu itakama hivi na si ati anakuduya hata for free just investors out here just coming out and saying wacha ni invest on mziki na pia kitu imekuwa constant ni watu bado nime realize no wonder mimi nikiona ngamse kama diamond ama mse talented ana anatuonyesha ana wealth yake ama everything yeah. si feeling ana flaws na yeah. feeling hii unafanya wasewa maparo wale bado wako blocked na ile mind ya usanini kitu tu fulani well, wana feel ya yeah. it can it can be it yeah. can happen yani so mimi nikiona wasewa na doi kitu mtaani wasewa wanapata ma deal kama kaka maze yeah. by then ilikuwa na, na furai sana kuona yani nikae hiyo chain na brekiwa kwa hiyo yeah. ndo point ilikuwa ni muuse magambo na msanii ndo waambiwa unaweza amka kesho sauti imeisha utafanya nini so muulize wao mse kwani pale wataezi amka kesho hapa ana mikono ama aoni eh usanii ndo ina kiwanga yeah. worries mingi yes, so I, I just think uh, bado aso haja believe so much in Nita Zakaria and just coming in to invest but hivi vitu ati support nini hiyo ni vita inafaa tu tupigane nayo eh kila hiyo sana but you know just hold on to that thought we're going to take a short commercial break and raise still in studio to so don't go anywhere ebu kwanza tuambie inspiration hiyo wimbo i mean umetaja kila mtu watu wa kitambo hata wasai na kile wana do ilikuwa actually mimi venye nilisikia gengeton nilikuwa na shangaa tu mbona watu walikuwa nashtuka azin wa hiyo nini wanaimba nini maybe visuals zao alikuwa na represent wana present venye atujaiona yeah. but now the content mimi nilikuwa na feeliki tu ilifanywa na itafanywa hiyo song inaitwa hivyo by the way so 
ukiwa na sijataja nimefocus nime, nime on wale wasani wanajulikana on naughty vibes yeah. ndio unasikia watu kaa kina sauti so lakini nyasha wako kwa hizo lyrics so nilikuwa na focus on ule msanii aliwai ali, ali it possible mimi kama no nini yangi imba wekamu maybe ile school ni tuatichi <laughs> sasa mimi ndio ningezikwa <laughs> but sasa eh hey, ali soften <laughs> years blow, before blow. me eh hey. you know we are still stuck by the mesquia <laughs> mavajo Mwasi mavajo mkotu sawa msianze kujichanganya eh hey, hata leo nina hii mambo <laughs> that that line is deep yeah if true. you know what i mean i love it kwa hizo vitu zote lakini mavajo mmeambua nini mtulie mtulie so don't rush into this life oh yeah do not yes. be confused so ikafanya tu video random nikaenda nika research nikasikia tu kwa kina Jose Kamaru alikuwa ana entertain mzee Jomo Kenyatta mazengo mwa alikuwa na imba za kisapere lakini sana alikuwa ana interpret hiyo anasema wa kwa hivyo kitu ilianza 63 watu wanafikiria so ni noma tu yani so now putting it into lyrics na tajango ya msanii na nini but still a story yeah. mm-hmm. sasa hiyo ndo hiyo ndo sasa usani hiyo ndo nasamani talent na shukuru well, yeah. so interesting but i'm like <laughs> i'll just ask you this cuz uh-huh. you're a dad yes. you got beautiful daughters yes two yes that's why nimesema daughters yeah. ehe uh-huh. mm-hmm. sasa hizi vitu unasema uh-huh. upatane na ndome ndume fulani na try ku corrupt <laughs> you know like the things you're singing about your cubs mm, so how does it how do, how do you feel when it comes you know to your daughters and when they'll be able to hear this and how you talk of you know the way you talk of fun with women i don't in your music yeah, yeah. how do you feel about that okay first of all mm. it's 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 a challenge yes man raisi mm. by the way cuz utamkazia kusikia ngoma yako na hata ukimkazia umcheze hiyo sensor dia naenda shule hata ambwa budako imba hivi unaona so yeah. we started early to, to, to just tell them that it is it is entertainment and it is our work mm. juu kwanza ilifika mali venye wali grow alianza obviously unajua kama ni mademo ataanza kupenda watu ka Beyonce nani yeah. nani and then walipata sasa ile Beyonce pia ameanza kusema <laughs> ameanza kutumia hizo mawazo so yeah. ato venye ana dress venye anafanya nini so una try kumwambia mom they are just working hata mm-hmm. kadi beat tunamwambia that they are yani ju outam kazi ya cuz she's growing into a celebrity family yeah. most of ile sasa kuwe tu pia their mom is a celebrity na pia ni msanii mm-hmm. and we are almost doing similar stuff so ni hard but tuna try to kuwa raising in a way that pia si tungetaka yani wa grow poor unajua cuz yeah. cuz Unajua pia watu wengine ndio musema in, in other families hata ngoma yangu ikicheza mimi utrai ku hide hizo hizo vitu mm-hmm. hata ukisikia album yangu venye inakaa mutrai unaweza cheza ngoma yangu na mtu yako sekushikanisha mm-hmm. ngoma kama hii ndio <laughs> eh kwa mti nini nafanyika kwa mti wewe ndio utakuwa unacheka mtu wako anashanga unless sasa afike ile age 12 13 14 16 huko anaelewa oh hii ni kitu fulani inafanywa yeah. so i i always try my best to at least try and sense lakini like but it is what it is. Unasema ilifanywa na itafanywa. Lazima kuwe na kendrezi. Yeah. Nikisema ilifanywa itafanywa mtu hezi kiancha ni nini lakini wewe ushajua yeah. just by the title. Sure. But since you are a celebrity family you and so soon mm-hmm. and you're raising these kids. Mm-hmm. Lakini my fans sisi tuta are we gonna see a uh, kendrezi so soon EP anytime soon? Kwani mnaongea nini hapo kwa nyumba <laughs> mkipika ugali mkasema si tuingie studio tu tufanya kaka album ama ka EP four songs five songs is that going to happen Actually tuko na plan ni album yetu ndio ilikuwa inafaika first okay. but tuka feel both of us ye pia aliacha wase hanging mahali yeah. ni pia aliacha wase hanging ilikuwa to do hiyo actually na hata tusha record mango makadha yeah. of which ndio tulikuwa tume release ngoma fulani inaitwa baby boo iko na video na zingia youtube cheki yeah. so tulikuwa tumeanza ku do hiyo and uh, as a rapper eh hey, mimi um respect sana yani as a, yani sasa tukiwa kejani saa nyingine mimi nasikiza beat nasikia shasema idea huko kabla hata mimi nianze kuandika <laughs> tunaenda na hiyo yeah. unajua so it's always fun na mupenda sana kudungoma na eh lyrically wasa ni challenge sana ni yeye na visita yeah. yani mimi mwambia mse wote kama unadhani wewe ni mnoma fanya ngoma na hao watu wawili endo fanye collab na mmoja wa watu wawili ndio mm-hmm. utajua how tough it is they bring their a game na mimi enjoy sana maze kukuwa na so soon na she has been my best friend yani from from unajua ndo by the way atu ajuange hata ile kofia nilitumia kwa tichi yeah it was a gift from her in my so you guys have been film. there for a minute yeah, from a- a- and so many sounds down the line let's talk yeah. about jipuka do you still do jipuka yeah for uh, fine then there's genge genge and then came genge tone mm. do you feel as an artist unafau conform to other genres that come or sounds and when you conform to them what do you do to the fans that followed you sababu ya sound yako ya kwanza jipuka so should you 
unafau conform ama wache tu ukae na ile kitu stick to Mika your roots. Sema, to break it too simple yeah. unajua jipuka simply means the art of diversity because mimi kikam kwa game watu wa genge wako wanataka hiyo sina ya kapuka tu hip hop wako yeah. wanataka watu wa genge kulikuwa na war so mimi nikachukua g is genge yeah. hip is hip hop kapuka is uka so ni confuse the most popular genres in Kenya ni form now if you are an, a diverse artist when you jipuka jo hata wasio wa genge ton yeah wasa uki wambia ni genge to rasema zi mimi kesho na do hip hop mimi na do reggae <laughs> pia so yeah. it's just the kenya scene wa diverse na to accept to na to agree so i just presented a name for people to use kama una feel when i'm diverse jipuka is your type of genres but iko be, iko iko characterized na vitu mob lyricism na cinema hit to joy yani hakuna ngoma atiteze chini na wanda mus mu by the way muski ya vizingo mangu kicheza chini ah mimi mimi utakatu no matter hata kama ni album yote yeye yeah. 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 but let me ask you when you mention gengeton kuna kuna story on kusema ni ka gengeton inapotea au mm-hmm. sijui gengeton imefika yeah. mali tu imeacha ku work or something what's your take on that i think no mali kuwa ni ni most of the groups zili break alafu most of individuals on walijulikana na hiyo sound maybe wako so vibrant now and then Kenyans are quick to unajua ndio wameka tu sijui 3 years yani wanafa musema game si hata 5 years ujue kama yuko ama yuko ama hata 10 cuz if it was not done that way to us basi mimi jo mimi nilisha kitambo yani unajua so musema tu kitu moja as in hao wali make mistake ya kufanya ni kama ni hao manze unajua mimi mm. hata nikikam kwa game mimi mpaka wa leo mimi i respect the people who inspired me and the people who came before me mm. so the only thing wange do ni hata na, na mse kama major ana ikipa live cuz he held them na bado akaendelea so through him we see all those wali jibrand na kitu fulani wakajitenga sasa wa gingeton tuwasaidie tuwabembe wow. ili kufanya ni ngoma nao sijui nini mm. si tukikama manze i'm sure hakuna mtu alikubembeleza yeah. ili kuwa wao yeah. unatoa wa huwa natoa yeah. ni so, hey. so hawa pia wali embrace wa style nyingine mm-hmm. alafu ni kama waka feel entitled eh hey, yani hey, kulikuwa tuna kitu but I, i believe in them na, na kuna wengi wao ni wakali yeah. na as long as tunachekiwa sekaka kina reckless sasa kina Benzimo wase kama kina kuna kibao wana do alafu them the mistake pia muju hakuna industry na thrive bila madem na kila time unaona hata Kenya mm. iko zone yenye iko nini na kwa gani hakuna rapa madem ama masinga madem wako so vibrant hapo juu ukiangalia Eugene TZ wamejaa ndio industry That's na vibe tu tutaenda red carpet na masuti alafu hakuna <laughs> <laughs> madem so, yeah, so muse mapia mistake ilikuwa ni <laughs> siku na madem wengi wenye walikuwa kwa hiyo mm. rende hiyo hiyo nini yao yeah. then it just ni, kuna tu issue lakini wako na mimi na wa like na naomba sana waendelee maze nataka sawa patane na mimi ndio wajue ni kunoma tunaombelea leo story ya uh, anaitwaje rap damo his yeah. name and it's nai boy, boy po, yeah. i think me ni fan wakati ambona sikia jina na muita and and easy contracts mna sign as artist mm-hmm. na unaona sasa kama vile hizi tuangoma after two years tukiangalia pia maju unapata msi amesainiwa under a big label mm-hmm. but at the end of the day they music yao iko kwa vivo yao like yeah. individually uh-huh. when you di, you were signed under grandpa and sijui iko aje your relationship how was the contract and because your youtube channel is still very young like four yeah. years you've been in the game for so long yeah. kuna ngoma mobs iko kwa jomino entertainment uh-huh. what really happens mimi nasema concerning youtube mimi yeah. kwanza nilikuja before hata kuna internet so whoever ali upload data hizo teach alikuwa msi atujui hata kwa nonanga tu video iko mahali imekuwa zina nani <laughs> majua <laughs> eh, na amenebu hiyo page hivyo yeah. na hiyo ndo link to see atakuwa tunajua ah. anything about that then i think it's something you learn through time na experience na unaona kama mimi sasa vile hata nilifika grandpa nasema it wasn't a selfish mistake but it was a mistake cuz mimi ndo nilifungua hata channel ya grandpa nikaambia rafiki amaze sasa hii nikieka hii mbili kimomkora itakuwa poa mm. just to help other artist related search ni dufla nani jean ideal mm. so ukini search unaona yeah. since iko kwa channel moja so mimi kwa na do hiyo for harmony ku create your family thing yeah. Kumbe saa pia mimi nafungia ngoma zangu <laughs> but you <laughs> make money uko, from them tukaacha huko tukaacha huko like 60k you subscriber yeah. so when i left grandpa to start Okay. Ni do ya kuvutana because yeah. I can't say that unaenda sasa sijui ngoma kwanza watakwambia sijui ni nini Buddha sijui nini uende kwa ref so that energy man yani ni kitu legally sawa tunaweza fuatilia mbele but it's just for youtube kama yeah. mimi sasa so mimi nilisema ah all that negativity means yes he push forward kwa life yangu nikafungua channel mpya of which my first video niliweka ilikuwa hiyo tulidu na avril 
na now my all my videos zitakuwa kwa channel ni Kenrezi videos ni channel mpya hata wasio ajui bado wasioenda kumtafuta kwa zile zingine so i think it's a mistake but mimi nilikamkulan na mimi unajua kitu fulani ngoma zangu naye na on zote okay. even the ones for grand yeah, yeah 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 so hiyo youtube tu ni ni ya sasa uwezi upload juu utastrikiwa mm. una avoid tu hiyo kitu kwa ulikuwa sha blanda that was na siezi ambia msi ati so mangeni contract hizo kwa utaiona hiyo kitu yenye umeshikuwa nayo kwa hiyo hey. contract mm. ni hard uione hata upelekelo ya ngapi bado uh, sony watakushika tu na kitu fulani ukuona yeah. gaso just be cautious na hizi vitu lakini same ni lilan sana first of all on your staff manze alafu youtube unaweza jimonetize hakuna mavitu pia wasanii wanafichwa eh, apply to for monetization ichukue time you need third party utatumiwa yeah. nini na youtube pin hiyo process yote hata ni do video fulani kwa youtube yangu unaweza ingia ucheki how to do all that mimi na jimonetize ya channel yangu na anda kuna wasio wengine kwa mekati kana mimi sana na na share hiyo information for free <laughs> yeah. na kuna so many other things mtu anaweza jifanyia kama msanii in this age of social media so mm-hmm. ni ku try to ku figure out mm-hmm. uh, Okay, thank you so much. Unfortunately, you've come to the end of the show. Mina but I think sana. that was very insightful for yeah. a lot of people not yeah. 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 So, usha tupatia handles zako, right? Bado. Yeah. Uh, oh, umetupatia YouTube. Instagram ah. yangu kwanza ili hakiwa pia. Eh, mwaka ili niazia vizi. Sao. Instagram yangu ni the real kendrezi mneza ni follow yiko na tao tatu. Sayi hatu hatu ingia ono na usi ye ye. <laughs> Kona 3k followers mneza ingia ucheki at the real kendrezi. Facebook ni kendrezi Kenya. YouTube ni kendrezi videos. Album ina drop next week. Uh, niko na eh maze niko na funeral ya shosho yangu lakini Pole. regardless mimi na joy yangu nataka nitoe tu yeah. mm. so tuko katika as nashukuru mm. tuko katika whole period but still for my fans juu ilikuwa itoke 29th niko askuma mm-hmm. so just be ready man album ina come Shukran sana. Sorry, you know, Asante. pole sana condolences to you Mas, and yeah. your family, you know, yeah. for the loss of your grandma. Sh- sh- But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be seeing you tomorrow same time, same place. Otherwise from us to you, have a good one. Boom. <laughs>